right, guys, welcome back. So we have the Shadow Systems MR920, and then my all-time favorite gun, which is the Glock 19X. And what we're gonna do in this video, instead of doing a full breakdown of each gun, we're just going to do a comparison, the things we like, things we dislike, things we wish that they would potentially work on, and a non-biased approach. So the Shadow Systems is designed by Shadow Systems. They create several different firearms. It's based on a P80 frame, and it's custom. One of the things that I really like about the shadow systems is the quality overall versus the price point. If I were to build something like this from like a Gen 3, 4, or 5, you're looking at anywhere from $1,500 to $2,200. That's a lot of nuts! So this one's priced at $1,050. Being a quote unquote stock gun, it's a phenomenal system. Uh, I do want to tell you that we are not sponsored by them. We have no contact with them anyway. It's just something that I've shot over the last several years. I've really come to like it. But there are some of the things that uh, me personally, I would like to change and I just haven't really dug into it to do so. As far as the Glock 19X, the 19X was designed for special forces. I believe, don't quote me exactly on it, it was a contract for the Army. That contract fell through. <laughs> Initially, the 19X was not going to be available to the civilian market, which they came out with a Glock Gen 5 45, which is the black version of the 19X. So as the contract fell through, they had all of these G19Xs and they didn't couldn't sell them, so they started offering them to the civilian market. One of the main things I really like about it is how they built the trigger. The trigger was built around the physical and mental tension that we experience in combat scenarios. So they wanted to help mitigate any potential trigger jerk and round deviation under those conditions. So they reworked the entire trigger. A lot of people typically will say this trigger sucks. No, the trigger doesn't suck. The trigger is actually forgiving. The trigger is really good. Anybody who says this trigger sucks, you most likely simply don't know how to pull any trigger whatsoever and you can't hit a target no matter what gun you have. Because if you can pick up this any gun and shoot you should be able to manipulate the 19x with ease and perform exactly the same way so what we have here today on the range is two mr920s and then we have the 19x if you look at the length from the back to the front it's the exact same as the 19x but one of the major differences from the top of the frame to the bottom of the frame this is a 17 where this matches the 19 this is a little bit longer but overall outside of the cosmetics externally pretty much the exact same gun you can see here that this has a magazine well bevel and this one has an option for it but the problem with this especially if you have smaller hands even if you put a magazine bevel on it it's not going to link up with my pinky if you have you have to have some pretty good sized hands so the overall goal is a from a magazine well bevel was to help you get the magazine in very easy as well as lock your hand in from the pinky to the webbing of the hand if we can do this this is really going to help mitigate the recoil so if you look right here this is what came out of the shadow systems this is your recoil springs this is your typical gen 3 gen 4 spring all right as you can see it's really thin there's a single spring works well but overall they upgraded the spring by creating a dual spring system and as you can see instead of being flat it's actually rounded which is going to help absorb a lot more of that energy one of the things i've really noticed in between the shadow systems and the 19x and even most glocks that i've ever shot there is a lot more energy being delivered from the shadow systems into the hand within the recoil the 19x absorbs a lot more energy it's a lot smoother overall and for me personally i still love the 19x even stock the only thing that i really want to change up to this point is having blacked out rear sights and then a orange or red front sight because how my eyesight is getting worse some of the differences i found in these firearms you know likes dislikes pros and cons whatever you want to call them so starting off with the 19x we have a ambi slide catch or slide release we have night sights in the rear and night sights in the front which i do love um, one thing that my dad hit on for the 19x is the trigger the trigger is smooth and the reset is short and crisp really nice one thing that i will say about this trigger is it feels a little bit wider um, of a profile damn 
him, boy, he fit. The shadow system's trigger feels a little bit flatter. It's kind of a hybrid between a, a flat and a curved trigger. However, it does feel longer, and when you hit that wall, you definitely feel the difference in the stiffness. With the 19X, it's just one smooth pull through. With that wall on this particular firearm, you definitely can see, and I can definitely feel where it is. Still a crisp break and still a really crisp reset. This firearm comes with a cut slide. It comes with a blacked out rear and a night sight in the front, which is yellow, which picks up really well with my eyes. You have slide serrations and slide ports. If you were to take this 19X and make it look like the Shadow Systems, you're looking $1,500 to $2,000. For the price point, my opinion, you can't beat the Shadow Systems, but for me, the trigger on the 19X is just way superior. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna play around with it just a little bit. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna shoot looking in my sights. I'm gonna rely on my natural ability to determine when the recoil is complete and triggers reset and pull. And we're just gonna see which one I can work faster overall. All right, so <clears throat> There's the first three, there's the second three. I'm not looking in my sights. Again, once I'm doing, what I'm doing is relying on recoil management and trigger manipulation overall. So I'm pretty familiar with the 19X. Um, and I'm not as familiar with the Shadow Systems trigger, but I do know that there's a very prominent wall that the 19X doesn't happen. You'll hear a lot of competition shooters say, all you can do is smash the trigger. Smash, smash, smash. I wanna give you one tip on that. When we're talking about self-defense or competition, yes, you can smash a trigger up to a certain point. But my question to you is, if we're dealing with a threat and time is money in both senses, does it make sense for me to fire, take my finger off the trigger and slam it back down? No, because time is money, all right? I engage, I come to that reset point, and I shoot again. So it's not the fact that you can't slap a trigger up to a certain point and a certain distance. It's useless. Learn to manipulate a trigger properly, and you'll be faster and better overall. So now I'm going to shoot Hayden. So like I said, he just got it a couple days ago, and I'm just going to perform the exact same way and see what the outcome is. Again, I don't have a timer. I really don't care. We're just trying to see overall how it performs. I can tell you right now that... <clears throat> One of the things I don't like about shadow systems and most guns in general, they don't do a really good undercut here. As you can see, it's flat. Not only that, there's no stippling. Nonetheless, the way I run my hand at a 45, it does slip, okay? So it's not that big of a deal. They do have a decent ledge right here cut into the frame that's stippled, but we're gonna see. So overall, let's check it out. Nice, not bad actually. So one, two, three. Let's see what you got with the old 19X, youngin. That, that recoil impulse is definitely a lot less. I was expecting the snappiness of this, and it's so like just, I feel as though I can get the muzzle back down quicker than, or it settles back down quicker. Maybe it's due to the recoil spring or whatever, but the slide seems to reciprocate and settle down quicker than and it's the smoother. shadow system. Oh, and it's there's not so as much, much energy being delivered into the hand. I will say I can, like if you let me see your hand, I'll, I'll like how we say on the range, like it's more, the recoil impulse on the G19 is more like that versus yeah. violent. Like yeah. the, the shadow system is, is more violent, yeah. but I think for me personally with, the magazine bevel, it, it, it mitigates it enough to where I can still get shots off accurately like with this. Let's see it. We'll see. So this is the grouping that I shot with the 19X. With the trigger being as forgiving it as it is, I was able to shoot relatively fast and retain that accuracy. Now with the shadow systems, if you look over here, the grouping is a little bit bigger and that's due to the fact of my specific trigger pull and how I manipulate my triggers. With the shadow system, it being a little bit stiffer, a little bit less forgiving, trying to retain that speed in shooting while retaining that accuracy didn't work out so well for me. And you, as you can see, my grouping's a little bit bigger. I've spent my entire life behind a Glock trigger. It's 
pretty much all I've shot, so that's what I'm used to. The proof is in the pudding, as they say, so I will be getting more time behind this new firearm to dial it back down. You know what, I do prefer the 19 size frame over the 17 size frame. Let me see your magazine. <laughs> so the 17 size frame will fit into the 19, but not vice versa. Yep. Yep, just due to the length. So that's one good thing about compatibility. Which ultimately means is I would prefer the 19 because I can run these if they're available and these. You can't run these. Yeah, but you're a better shooter with a 19X <laughs> right now. <laughs> Pick and choose. More ammo, better shots. I'll take the more ammo. Right. Have, <laughs> Have a good, good day, day and God, God bless. bless. Jeans, buy me a coat. Oh, snap, man, we're still saying the same thing. This is amazing. <laughs>